excitement in the Parisian air. We're at the Parc des Princes here in the French capital. When you go out and buy a FIFA game every single year, you expect the newest one to look better, feel better in terms of gameplay and of course have some added features. I think the looking better part is especially magnified this year because of the new console generation. Yes, we all want 120 FPS FIFA on the Series X and PS5, but we won't get that. On the Series X and PS5, FIFA 22 runs at 60 FPS and 4K during gameplay. That frame rate does draw further to 30 during cutscenes and action replays. It's pretty much the same formula we've seen in other EA Sports games. And pretty much identical in terms of performance to FIFA 21 next gen. In fact, I would say the new FIFA 22 and next gen looks worse in some cases than the old FIFA 21 next gen. I know there's been a lot of coverage of how bad the game looks on Series S, but it's not just a Series S. Even on the Series X and PS5, the new 22 version looks worse when it comes to player models. This image right here says it all. Both are captured on the Series X. We have FIFA 21 on the left and 22 on the right. If I didn't know any better, I would think 22 was on the left and Xbox One version was on the right. And it's not just messy, the other big names also look a lot better in FIFA 21 next gen. Maybe the lighting got worse because the overall models are not a whole lot different, but whatever it is, FIFA 21 player models are much better looking. Look at Mbappe, the texture of his hair in FIFA 21, it looks a lot, lot more detailed. Okay, so Ronaldo looks similar, but probably because he has no hair on his face, but you zoom in onto that hairline and yeah, you can see how much better the lighting in FIFA 21 is. Now this is of course, during replay so that's one thing but what about the gameplay on the pitch here's a side-by-side -side comparison of Messi scoring on both FIFA 21 and 22 next gen gameplay wise both are fairly similar I guess FIFA 22 does look a bit more vibrant the grass looks a bit better the overall lighting on the pitch perhaps got a little bit better with FIFA 22 but it's definitely not a huge improvement or anything. In FIFA 21, one thing I liked after scoring a goal is this action replay shot of the goal scorer walking back to the center of the pitch. They actually completely got rid of that in FIFA 22. One minor detail they did add to FIFA 22 is how the quality of the pitch looks. You can see that these footsteps build up on a grass surface as you progress through the game. Halfway through the game, you'll notice footstep marks all over the pitch when you're playing on natural grass. Next gen consoles also load a lot faster, so did EA improve that for FIFA 22? And of course I did test that, keep in mind I'm running the trial version of FIFA 22 so that might give it a bit of a disadvantage. Going from dashboard to the main menu didn't really improve, it actually got worse by about 5 seconds. However, you can start a quick game much faster in FIFA 22. It only takes you about 16 seconds to get to kickoff. The older FIFA 21 takes almost twice as long and that's probably because you can't really skip through all of the cutscenes. So there you have it. That's basically how FIFA 22 compares to FIFA 21 next gen when you consider the performance, the graphics, the loading times. In a nutshell, there's absolutely nothing significant in terms of performance improvements. And yeah, this image of Messi says it all. Thinking of upgrading to FIFA 22 for the next gen experience? Don't do it. Keep your money. Great defending. Can he open the door to a potential goal? The task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. And that was correct. To jump in front. Sensational goalkeeping from. Oh, disappointing. Just when it looked like a surefire opener.